Hello my dear friends, my name is Omid and welcome to my another tutorial videos about WordPress. In this tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to back up your WordPress website and how to restore your website from your backups. It's very easy and I will show you how to manually back up and restore your WordPress website. It's very important for each webmaster because sometimes you are not satisfied from your web hosting company and you are going to transfer everything of your website to new web server. So you need the backups of your website and sometimes you are going to change some code and human errors occur so better is you have your backups and you be able to restore your website to the time that worked correctly or sometimes your site is done because the attacks of hackers in this video we will consider this important issue also i want to say like and subscribe may look very simple for you but it's very very valuable for me and helps me to continue making these tutorials for you so thanks so much for your support let's go and consider this important issue for backups and restore your wordpress website Okay guys, let's start. In this video, I will show you how to back up manually your WordPress website from cPanel area. As you know, WordPress is a CMS that uses PHP and MySQL database. So we should pay attention that our backup should contain two parts. The first part is a copy of all of our WordPress files. For example, our PHP files, our uh, HTML files, our images, our CSS files and the second part is a copy from our database. Let's uh, start to gather and log in to our cPanel area. This is my website webishmedia.com is a simple WordPress website and uh, for getting backup I go to cPanel area. When you log into your cPanel Please go to file manager and click here. Go to public HTML folder and then select all the files that are here. Okay, and then right click and compress as a zip archive all of your files. Press compress files and wait a second. It's done as you can see here all of your files are compressed as a zip file and you can close this window okay my my zip file is here and I can download it to my computer it's the first part I have a copy of all of my files and download it to my computer okay the second part is having a copy from your database so we again go to cPanel area and go to databases we go to phpMyAdmin here we select our database name my database here is webish me underline db10 okay i select it now when you came here select all the tables of this database and press check all and then with selected come here and press export okay we have two options, quick and custom. Display only the minimal options and the format should be SQL. Okay. I always select this format and press go button. Okay. Here I have two files. For my first part, 
I have all of my files as my PHP files, CSS files, HTML files, all of my images, folders and the second part for the second part I have my database now if I go to my downloads folder I can see that uh, I have a complete backup a file for my database and another for all of my WordPress files I can transfer these files to a folder and keep it for my uh, self and better is every uh, webmaster have a regular backup from his sites okay in the next part we will consider how to restore our website from our backups okay dear friends in this part we are going to learn how to restore our website from our backups if uh, you are logging in cPanel, we will continue together and uh, for example, we are going to restore our database. For restoring database from our backups in the cPanel area, just we go to database section again and, uh, and click on PHP My Admin link and select our database name okay my database here is webish me on the land db 10 but uh, maybe your tables are damaged or your tables are deleted okay let's uh, for example do it i delete i drop all the tables and i want to use my backups okay go to my url webishmedia.com as uh, you can see my wordpress website is vanished and is deleted and uh, it brings the first page of wordpress installation because now i deleted all the tables and i want to restore my database from my recent backup how can i do it i go to uh, my database and uh, press import this tab and uh, select the file choose files from uh, desktop i go to backup and uh, select my uh, database SQL file that I have recently uh, downloaded. Okay, and select it. Its format was SQL, and then press go. Just wait some seconds. As you can see, all the tables recovered and again i go to my website with this url as you can see my website came back okay this is for restoring our database but if your uh, database name is uh, not appeared here or you are going to transfer all of your uh, wordpress site to a new company or to a new web server better is you create a database with the last name of its username and password and give all the privileges to your user okay but here my database uh, name was not deleted and I restored all the backup files of my database by this option by import tag. Okay, it was done for my uh, database and for my files is easy uh, too. For restoring my files, just go to File Manager and uh, go to File Manager yes 
go to public HTML and uh, for example I think that all of these files are deleted or for example are changed and I want to restore my backup files first of all as a sample I delete everything for showing you how to restore your files I go to cPanel again file manager to public underline HTML folder uh, nothing is here and I want to restore my files just go to upload and select files from for example my desktop the backup file was this one and I upload all the files to public HTML and then extract my compressed file compressed zip file let's check my website again as you can see the website is vanished and uh, nothing is shown here because uh, I have deleted all of my files and now I'm uploading the backup files and I'm restoring my WordPress site again Okay, the upload process is complete. Now I go back to public HTML folder and reload. This zip file is appeared here and just I extract it to this folder public underline HTML. It's done. Let's check our website again and refresh it. Okay, the process of backup and restore is complete. I hope this tutorial will be useful for you.